Hey guys, and welcome back. My name's NG Paradox, and we have new GIS. Now, I must apologize for last time, I did something extremely stupid. Uh, basically what I did, as you can see here, I accidentally put my Justice Seer on to improve relations with Astapor, not to fabricate claims. Now her fabricating claims is actually 3%, and her noble infuriated is 5%, so she's absolutely terrible. So I might actually put instead my wife. Now last time I did say um, you shouldn't really put your wife on the council, um, but as you can see here it says 6% claim fabricated, that's almost double, and noble infuriated 3.2, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna put her, I think that's much better. Now the reason you shouldn't maybe put your wife on your council is because the skill stats here are based upon yourself, your counselor, and you can see here, your spouse. Your wife actually affects this, and if she's on the council, it does not add this bonus. So it is good, maybe not to have her on the council. So yeah, that's just one thing just there. So I'm gonna put her there, hopefully we can fabricate the claim. I did put fabricate claim, didn't I? I did this time, perfect. So hopefully we get the claim on Astapor. I would really like to get that, because if we have two claims on Astapor, I would definitely attack them. And obviously getting the claim on Astapor itself is really good because that's a really good province. So I really hope we can get that. We'll see what my wife does. Maybe she's terrible. We'll see. And of course, I do have that genius slave girl. Now, some people are asking me maybe to make her my concubine, but I personally think that maybe uh, Grazdan, he would not choose her to be his concubine. He's a very proud man. He would not taint himself with that type of stuff. But you never know, maybe our son will make her a concubine, but preferably Grandstand's probably gonna use her to uh, breed, make maybe more genius babies or children with good skills. Especially we can find someone maybe who's just as good as she is. You know, some other good traits as well. We can make ultimate babies. Ultimate slave babies. There we go, Maria, she's 14. We need to wait, I think, till she's 16 to breed. Yeah, older than 16. We've got to wait till she's older than 16. So when she's 16, we'll do that. But there are rumors that someone is trying to kill me. <gasps> Who the hell would try to kill me? I I'm a lovable king. Who would dare hate me? But my child needs a focus. Okay, we're going to go for a pride again. Because I think Grazdan would just, just choose pride, to be honest. That's just the sort of man he is. But we'll just keep going with that. But yeah. There's this big Dothraki up here. Vaz Dothrak, Karl Jogo, no more Karl Drogo, and was killed by a rabble apparently. That's that poor old lady. What's this? Ah, so are you kidding? My own slave has seeked to kill me. Well, I guess we're going to have to sell you, I guess. Let's sell the slave. We have to. Time to do business. Okay, someone else. 15 gold? No, no, no. I want more than 15 gold. He's, you know, he's got 12 stewardship. He could be useful. He could be useful to someone, somewhere, in, in some time. In some hole. In some prison, maybe. Maybe. This guy's in prison, see? No. <laughs> 15 gold. No, no, no. There's gotta be someone. Come on. Someone's gonna have 40 gold just lying around. There we go, 40 gold. There we go, got rid of him. That means that problem is solved. So the man who was trying to kill me is now gone. Oh, and my sister was wanting to support him. How dare you, sister. How dare you. I think it's asking her to stop blacking plot. It seems to have gone. Nope, she has stopped. Okay, the whole plot's gone. Now, there we go. So we managed to save ourselves by selling that slave. He wasn't particularly useful anyway. And Tywin has declared... Westerlander War for the Castle of Stony Sept and Canet on Edma Tully. Now, that, uh, that is just like Tywin, taking advantage of the situation in Westeros with Robert dealing with all his craziness and attacking the Riverlands. That is so Tywin. But yeah, yeah Ty seems to have a lot of problems right now. Um, who's the Emperor up here? The Orange Emperor. I like oranges. Oh, it just tastes nice. And this man has joined us. And speaking of Yai Tai, this man has joined us. And he's got a strong claim, actually. Hmm. Not really useful right now. You would like some money. Hmm. I'm not sure Grazdan... Yeah, Grazdan really does not care. He's a selfish and cruel man. I will not act 
against Prefect Hugh. I have no reason, maybe. It could be fun, I guess. It could be cruel in that way. It could be fun to make them fight each other. But I don't think there's any interest in this. I just He has no cares. And that's exactly like Grazdan. He's uncaring of other people's woes and troubles. But actually, my son's been educated by me. Maybe I should change that. Let's uh, see what we can get. Now, he's good at stewardship. Okay. So she's good at that, but she's only good at learning then. Um, trait, she's a bit shy maybe. That's not good. I don't want someone who's too shy. This guy's also a skilled fighter, but also got 11 and 22 martial. And he's brave. He's got some good little traits there. I like this guy. Let's make him it. Uh, what about my other son? I'm also educating him. I change that again. The ge Ooh, a genius girl we've got there. 32 years old. Huh. Okay, uh, this guy is good at... Fighting and stewardship. I think you do the same guy, actually, yeah. And it looks like the same guy is not here. Yeah, I guess he's uh, he can't do this one as well. Or did he have a lower? No, he didn't. Huh. Okay, we can go third. Uh, there's a skilled fighter here. Skilled fighter here. Authoritative. This guy's brave, though. I do like having brave on my children. Being brave is important. Yeah, we'll go for this guy, I think. Um, is at least six. Okay, he has to be six years old. Okay, we'll leave it like that then. It's fine. And we'll increase time, because like I said, I'm just really waiting for this claim to work. Or for the truces to end so we can slave raid one of these two. But yeah. Or get some money so we can colonize again. But all of this is going to take time. It's all going to take time. Definitely not going to be a quick series trying to expand here. Unless we can get some good people with claims, which could be a possibility. Yunkai might be someone we could look to try and get some claims. There's a few young girls who have claims. Hazara. So a weak claim. A weak claim in the Republic is probably not so good. But yeah. Weak claim. They have a weak claim as well. Having these weak claims is not so helpful. Strong claim, but you know, he's married and stuff. We're not gonna bring him here. This guy is got a, a weak claim, but he's a genius as well. What about Marine? Any particular claimants since we last looked? No, not yet. I believe I can do great things, so therefore I put my mind to actually implement my ideas. Pride is a sin, pride comes before fall. Hmm. Now, obviously, we're at a point now where I could lose pride, so we've got to base off the other traits. So I'm very stu a studious man, a cruel and a selfish man. Pride is not a sin. Yeah, I don't think he'd think that. Yeah, I think that's sorry. I I think he thinks that. Pride comes before. I think he'll think this one. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. So we click that one. Investigate Prin Prince Hargas's legitimacy, and she's gonna stop. God damn my sister. She's just getting willy nilly right now. My nephew didn't turn out so great. A charismatic appeaser. Didn't go so great for him. Uh, Galadin Baratheon died a stillborn. Ah, that was Renly's child. Poor Renly. Winter's come to an end. No children for him still. And yeah, Marjorie. She's a craven, apparently. But she apparently knows how to fight at least a little bit. Even a little bit is better than nothing. She's better fighting than I am. <laughs> Our guy has no fighting skill. But yeah, come on, wife. You can do better than this. Actually, let's have a quick look at the slave. How old is she now? Has she come to age yet? Where is that little slave girl? Slave girl, there she is, Maria. 15, she'll be 23rd of March, so just in a few more days. And Krasnus asked for FIFA's own to govern. I'm a selfish man, and his father was a traitor, so yeah. That two-faced brute is not worthy of these lands, of course. Yes. If I was over my domain, I probably would give him a piece of land. But right now we're not, so it's fine. I would just tell him to F off. These are my lands. I'm the king. You're not worthy of such lands. He wants to attack someone else. That's okay. I don't really care about that. And looks like Rob Baratheon has finally defeated Duran Martel. And his daughter died of pneumonia. But all her children are in hiding, so they still survive. Oh, yes. <laughs> Prince Tremond is apparently a slave, which is just 
Amazing. I wish I could buy him. I wish I could buy him right now. But oh well. What will he do with Duran Martel? What will be the punishment for his crimes? We'll have to wait and see. He did execute his son, after all. And he revoked Dawn from the Martels. There we go. So the Martels have now lost Dawn. Who will get Dawn? Also got the High Lordship of Pike. And he's now also got Pike. It looks as though he just took out Roderick's eyes. Ooh. So that means, the, did the Greyjoys completely lose the Iron Isles? Huh. It looks as though he destroyed the title of Kingdom of the Iron Isles. Yeah. Let's quick look. De jure. Yep, no one. Perfect. Wow. Robert is really not taking any mess in here. He's taken land from the Martells, from the Greyjoys. He even destroyed the title. He's really not messing around right now. Wow. He's turned into the one thing he hated. A mad king. Well, I guess it wasn't the one. I think he hates many things, but yeah. During this long period of abandonment, the roads around Gis have become virtually unusable. We need to pay to build it all. Yeah, 150 gold. We have to make this perfect. Construction in Gis has come along. Yes, there we go. Very nice. So he's got the building there a bit better. And the girl obviously is now ready. We need to find her a perfect match. Let's go look. Search all. Gender. Man. Uh, married. Ruler. Obviously not. No. I guess we put slave. So we put slave in here. We want someone who's got some good natural traits. So we can see here we've got um, obviously strong. That's pretty nice. 26 year old. Huh. Ice River Clansman. Could be a wildling apparently. We could make an offer. Let's see if we can find anything better though for now. So that's a pretty good one. Um, overall, they look kind of just normal. We've got attractive here. Do I want attractive or strong more? That is a that's an important question. This guy's oh my god, this guy's strong and attractive. We have to have this man. I have to buy him. I will pay you lots of money. Strong, attractive, and a genius. Seventy-five gold. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. More than I was hoping. I was hoping forty gold, but I think that could be worth it. If they could give us two children. You know, one with strong, one with genius, or one with attractive, then that'll be worth it. I'm going to do it, yeah. I think it's worth it. 75 gold. So, Morio, let's get you married. Well, let's breed you, sorry. Breed. Do it. This one, perhaps. Yes, master, she says. Very good job. And there we go. A fine day's work. So, there we have it. Our two perfect slaves. And actually, let's look at our court. Um, Davos, what happened to you? Oh, yes, any. Ah, as you make your way home late one night, you are scored by your bodyguard and run into several drunken peasants having a fist fight in the middle of the street. Your guards attempt to steer you away, but you have an, an idea. Would this not be a perfect sparring opportunity in which to improve your martial ability? Well, I am a cruel man and proud, so probably like, this is a great chance to beat up some bloody peasants. Put them up. After ordering your guards back, you join the wild melee. As the ruffians become aware of your presence, they gang up upon you. But you're still able to hold your own. You dodge their blows and land several of your own. Pow, pow. Soon the peasants are lying unconscious at your feet. There we go. Poor fighter now. I'm just change this to... Oh, God damn it. Uh, I want to change to any. Both, sorry. Stop. Time, time. Why isn't time stopping? Okay, there we go. So we want to sell these two slaves, I think, yeah. Because she's now 36. She's not going to get as many more babies. Let's sell her. Ah, apparently she's not worth much. Okay, five gold. And for you, we'll sell you now. We can't breed you with your daughter. That you know, I'm a cruel man, but not that cruel. I guess actually he would, but it's not as profitable. Time to do business. If we can get a good price for him, we're selling him. 15 gold? Nah. Yeah, Grand's dad, she probably would he probably would breed a daughter with her father. He probably would do that type of thing, actually. But in this situation, it won't help us. So he won't do it. And we can't find anyone for this man. I mean, we can find 15 gold, but 15 gold is a little cheap. We had to sell the wife for only 5 gold. I don't have to sell him for cheap as well. I'd rather just keep him. And I think we're going to have to give up. or <laughs> We're going to be here forever. And yeah, we're just going around the whole world. 
trying to sell. I wish that like, it didn't wasn't like this was kind of like a time thing, maybe. Like, it kind of takes time each time you click it. That way you might be more inclined to click no. Because it's just like instant, it makes you feel like you can just keep going. Okay, we'll give up then. Okay, we'll sell them another day. But there we go. Hopefully the two slaves we did breed, though, hopefully do a great job. And it looks like they've finished off here. What just happened? Edmo the Riverlands lost. So it looks like Tywin won, but he's become incapable during the fighting. And so the Maester has become the regent. And Tyrion looks set to take over Casterly Rock. Well, there we have it. But he did win the war in the end. So I guess you've got to commend him on that. Let's have a quick look. Yeah. So he took some nice land over there. Is he going to give Dawn to anyone? Doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. Obviously, there's no Ironborn land now. Okay, we'll move away from that. Let's go back down to our lands. And still no claim. What are you doing, wife? What are you doing? Actually, he's our new man. He's got ten. Okay, so he's not better. Damn it. We need some better people. Uh, who was that guy trying to kill again? Not me. Okay, that's fine. And let's make sure there is no, maybe, plots to kill me. Because I've still got the thing to hide. Now, there's no plots, apparently, but we've still got the thing to hide. I guess because the other slave we sent away, maybe he's still trying to kill me, but there's no one helping him. What is this? You would like a marriage for my my genius courtier. We're going to decline. She needs to get married to someone, at least, in the court. Now, we're not going to marry to my children because I'm a proud man. And again, she's just common blood. But we do want to get married to try and keep the genius going. Now... Is any of my courts not actually got any? No, everyone in our court does have one. Who should we make it for then? This guy's actually a skilled fighter. Maybe he could protect me. Let's marry her to him then. They'll get married. They'll continue the line. Maybe some genius children that can work for us in the future. Maybe get married into our family. As he is a bit higher born. And there's a new election in Astapor. Who's the new ruler? Good Master Krasnis. And he's got 10,000 men. And we need a new treasurer. Okay, new treasurer will obviously be Reznak, I guess. There you go. Um, Oversee construction. Go here. How's the colony coming along? Colony's just normal, apparently. Yeah. It's not advanced yet. So we've still got probably a long way to go. Those things can sometimes take ages. An absolute, just ridiculous amount of time. But I wonder if people are going to start turning on Robert, to be honest. If Robert has been taking people left, right, and center when they just question him. Depose King Robert faction. There we go. Speak of the devil. Edmund Tully. I kind of knew my... Oh, he's actually married to a Lannister as well. His son, Dermond. Half Lannister, half Tully. Can't get much better than that. Well, actually, you could probably get a lot better than that. And Vastor Rack has kind of started to fall apart. There's a lot of different ones around here. Rash Mesher has got quite big. Has Yai Tai finished? Yeah, Yai Tai is now back to normal. I've been the employee. You want to come work for me? You've got good intrigue, but I don't particularly need that right now, to be perfectly honest. He's now known as the Cruel. That's not always a good name to have. The High Master Grasden, now known as the Cruel. Okay, well, good for you. Good for you, good sir. <laughs> Still does not got that damn claim. I need the claim now. Give me the claim. But and we're nowhere near the time to be attack these guys. I think it's like 8307 is when the truce ends. And Renly is declared storm the ducal war for the Lord Goodwin's claim on Saltcliff. Interesting. So the Darkens actually control Saltcliff at the moment. He was actually a peasant leader, it would seem. Okay. Interesting coat of arms there, hearts. Purple hearts. Sunderly. And pick a new ambition. Okay, well, I'm going to go with... I think Valerian's still sword because he's a proud man. So he probably wants this type of sword. And he's, you know, erudite. I think that's how you pronounce it. So that means he's bookish. This means he's probably read up a lot about these Valerian swords. He wants one for his family. That brings up, you know, the prestige of our family. So he's going to try and look into it. He's not particularly a great fighter, but he thinks it'd be good for his family. And Tywin has finally died. Oh my god, Tyrion's dead. He died of the plague. Wow. And so his ugly son, 
Lauren at four years old has become the new Lord Paramount. Okay, well, they're not going to take advantage then, I guess, of the, the kind of wrecked realm right now for Robert Baratheon. Tyrion probably would have, but I don't think this four-year-old will. Poor, poor them. Oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil, he's actually declared a second war against the tyranny of Robert Baratheon. And look at that, the veil, the high septon. Lots of the Iron Isles. A lot of people in Dawn. It looks like people have had enough. A lot of people are starting to say, what the hell's wrong? This man is a drunkard. He's insane. We can't have him as our king any longer. So this means his son, who interestingly, hmm, his son is not exactly black of hair. Now, obviously not being black of hair does not mean he's not the Baratheon son. But... Uh, the reason, obviously, in the TV shows, if they come up with this scenario, is because, obviously, all three children are not black of hair. So that means it's really unlikely that they're his children, because normally in the Baratheons, they're always black of hair. But these three, none of them are. That's really unlikely. You'd think at least one of them would be. So maybe it could be Allard is actually another situation like this. Maybe he's a child of Cersei and Jaime after all. There was suspicions of this. But now with this hair, it kind of makes me question it. So he could get the Iron Throne. But yeah. We'll see. I guess I want to go have a look to see who's supporting Robert. Now, Robert seems to have... He has the Stormlands, obviously, technically, in his lands. Oh. Okay. Has been... The High Sultan has been released. It looks as though... Yeah. <laughs> Robert Baratheon won... Basically, instantly. Is that because your educator was him? Or was that because now he's defeated you? How did this happen? <laughs> How did that happen? Oh my god. Oh my god, he murdered. He executed this four-year-old boy. Robert has gone completely insane. And the veil has now declared independence. Because he obviously tried to take his stuff. Kyle at 16 years old. The son of John Aaron, the man who supported Robert. Robert has completely lost it. This is just madness. And it's not even Sparta. This is just insane. He's taken everything. So he's now taken the Westlands from the Lannisters. And even more things have been taken. And lots of people declaring independence wars. Absolute chaos right now. Wow. Okay, well, things have been going very interestingly in the Westlands. Especially compared to Slaver's Bay, things have not been interesting here because we can't get that damn claim. But I'm going to have to end it here for now, folks. Hopefully our slaves are going to make a damn baby, but we'll check that out next time. I'll see you guys then. I've been Andrew Paradox, and uh, yeah, well, I think I've been Andrew Paradox. Yeah, I think I have, but yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.